And the water's clear enough. If there were any fish, I should be able to see them. I don't have a whole lot of time. Sun's already starting to go down. Still a little chilly out. Wow. My crankbait is still hanging over there. I have a crankbait hanging on that branch straight across there. It's been there for it's been there over a year. It's still there. And that's a perfect crankbait for around here too, so I'd like to, maybe I can get that back finally. Since that tree is long dead. <clears throat> I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. Yep, that's my crankbait. Hooks have rusted out, that's why it fell off finally. I can change these hooks out with no problem. Actually, I think I found this crankbait to begin with anyway, so it wasn't a big loss, but yeah, we'll get this cleaned up. Yeah, this is a small, probably an inch and a half, two inch maybe at the most, square bill from H2O Express. These are the perfect size to fish around San Antonio. You want to downsize around here in these creeks and in the river. So, there you go. Alright, one thing... I don't do often enough that I really need to practice and get better at is jigging. With that I'm also going to be throwing just a regular jig head with uh, Strike King Bitsy Bug crawfishes on it, crawfish on it, and see if I get any luck with that. This is just a little jig head, like what you would get the uh, with uh, those cheap little grubs and stuff, that or like a beetle spin even stuff that would come with a rod combo when you buy it I'm just gonna feed one of these crawls onto it of course it's not a refillable bag that's perfect I'm gonna have to mix them up with something else and these are tiny crawls these are perfect for this jig head They're covered in salt, like a, it's almost like a candy. And they feel like Sour Patch Kids because of all the salt that's on them. They look like them too. Alright. Okay, there's a fish taking it in that direction. There we go. I don't he had it for a long time, but I got him in the lip at least. He didn't swallow it. There we go. He was carrying it for a long time before I even noticed he had it. Hooked in the through the top lip and into the bottom lip. There we go. It's about time been a long time since I caught a fish. This one didn't even really fight, but he couldn't fight. He's too small. Good, healthy looking fish. At least they're still here. Oops. I was going to change hands on him. He started slipping away, so I just kind of put him out there so he didn't hit the ground and he landed flat on the water. Whoa. Well, that's my first fish on an actual craw. I mean, I've caught them on woolly bugs or, and brush hogs, Christy critters and stuff before, but never anything that was just a straight up craw with the pinchers and legs before. So I'll throw that back out over there.